previously on Geno Vlog. I know I exaggerated things, now I got it like that. So find that being in my shirt, cause I'm just mobbing like that. You know good and well. What do you think about the performance? It's quite fun. Drink. Drink. Good morning, guys. I've been running every single day about two weeks before January. My goal is to run half a marathon before I turn 25, which is July 31st, and that is 22.4 kilometers. The most I've run so far is about 10 kilometers. Today, I'm gonna do another 10 kilometers, and I wanted to record it for you guys and show you my run, because it is a big part of my life, and I'm very passionate about it. For the next two weeks, I'm gonna be wearing these glasses, and I know there's gonna be questions why. Um, I'm actually really excited. I've just joined a boxing class, and my fifth lesson in, I went in for a spa, and stupidly I didn't wear a headgear, and I got a black eye. <laughs> now I'm really enjoying fighting, and I'm just gonna wait for it to recover. It should take about, I think, the longest one week. So let's go for a run. One of my favorite things about running is the view. new places it makes it all worth it I love to see how far I go and all the new things that I see it's more than just to run it's life so I'm just about three kilometers into my run my calves are a little bit sore but I'm pushing through it right now. As you can see, I'm going at a steady pace where I'm able to talk. A little bit out of breath, but seven more kilometers to go. By July 31st, I should be able to run half a marathon. Easy. If I ever have any problems at home, like if I'm ever going through shit, which everyone does, it's completely normal. I go for a run and all these bad thoughts in my head make me want to keep running harder and when I'm running so hard to the point that I can't do it anymore <laughs> I'm not sure if it's the rush of endorphins but it's like were those bad thoughts really worth it After I complete a long run, I feel like I can complete anything throughout my day, so it really helps me get on with my day. Which is why I like to jog early out in the morning. So I had to be really careful. I don't know if you can see them. Pulled out my camera a bit late, but there was a whole pack of kangaroos. A whole pack of them. You gotta be really careful because I was about 10 meters away from them. I didn't even realize they were there because they camouflage into the earth so well. But yeah, keep moving. Yeah, they're keeping an eye on me. <laughs> See you guys. So I've kind of um, head into the wilderness of my area. So I'm going to try and head back to like a main track. All right, sweet, so I just passed six kilometers. One thing I'm feeling is really dehydrated. I didn't have enough water before I left, which I usually do. That's the first thing I usually do when I wake up. You know, I um, have a big glass of water, but this morning I just wanted to pick up and leave. So I'm kind, kind of paying for it right now. Throughout my life, I've achieved a lot of things, you know. I've played in front of 10,000 people, Wembley Arena. I've done, I've been in two movies, had my own TV show. But I have to say, my most proudest and greatest achievement is running. 
because I can do that every single day and I can better myself every single day. So if you guys are thinking about running but can't do it, I'm telling you, the hardest thing about running is the first step out of that door. And after that, your legs just follow with you. So if you guys are thinking about running, I highly suggest doing it. Woo. I'm on eight kilometers at this point of the run and I'm feeling pretty good. Um, at this pace, I feel like I can do another four more kilometers. So I'm gonna aim for 12 kilometers. I found one of these cool racetracks on the way. I feel like an Olympic sports runner. So I'm about three k's away from my house and I'm on 11 kilometers. Absolutely smashed my goal of 10 kilometers. And it looks like I'm gonna be doing half a marathon easily before my 25th birthday. Woo! So I'm about 1.5 kilometers away from home. Looks like I'm about to hit 15 kilometers. At this point, my body's not used to such long distance. I've been running every day, but not for this distance. And uh, I feel joint pain in my hips, in my ankles. But I oh have yeah, also got a little bit of rash under my arms and down there too. But um, other than that, I feel really good. Just a little bit more to go and then I can go home, have a nice stretch and probably a cold shower. Oh, I'm dreaming about water right now. Oh. So I just finished the 15 Ks. This is my last street. So I'm gonna sprint it. So I couldn't speak at the end of that sprint because I, I pushed myself to my absolute limit and I was completely out of breath. But that was 15.2 kilometers, my new record, and I am so proud at the moment. I'm gonna finish this workout with some stretches. I'm gonna go have a cold shower after I do my stretches. And then I am just going to recover for the rest of the day and take it easy. So thank you guys so much for joining me on my 15 kilometer journey. Uh, I hope this inspires you to do something that you're passionate about and to uh, smash your goals and to become a better person. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe, like. Uh, we've got daily content every single day on Junoskians, Dare Sundays. And uh, yeah, we're always keeping up to date with photo shoots. So uh, I hate to be that guy. I hate watching the end of like people's videos because they talk about this shit and it's so annoying. But um, yeah. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the run as much as I did My face looks so retarded right now. I've got a black eye and half an eyebrow missing on the same. Oh my god. Look at this. I am a mess Oh, this you crazy mother